Former President Donald Trump has praised Vladimir Putin as savvy and a genius during Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Now he's asking Putin for dirt on President Biden's son, Hunter. One thing while I'm on your show, as long as Putin now is not exactly a fan of our country, let him explain where did, because Chris Wallace wouldn't let me ask the question, why did the mayor of Moscow's wife give the Bidens, both of them, three and a half million dollars? for That's a lot of money. She gave him three and a half million dollars. So now I would think Putin would know the answer to that. I think he should release it. I think we should know that answer. Now, you won't get the answer from Ukraine, but why are they giving somebody who knows nothing about energy $187,000 a month plus a $3 million upfront payment? And I won't even talk about China because they haven't gone into yeah. Taiwan yet. Right. That'll be next. But why did the mayor of Moscow's wife give the Biden family three and a half million dollars? Nobody wants to ask the question. And Chris Wallace, who's a total lightweight, unlike his father, who interviewed me for 60 minutes, who was actually a good piece. Mike Wallace was great. He wants to be Mike Wallace, but he doesn't have the talent. But why is it that the mayor of Moscow's wife gave the Biden family three and a half million dollars? I think Putin now would be willing to probably give that answer. I'm sure he knows. A fact check. Uh, the payments the former president is referring to come from a highly criticized Republican-led Senate report released just weeks before the 2020 election. It maintained that Elena Baterina, the widow of Moscow's former mayor, wired $3.5 million to a firm that was associated with Hunter Biden. The report did not show that Hunter Biden received any of that money. In addition, Hunter Biden's legal team has long claimed that he had no interest in the firm and was not paid any of the money in question. As to Trump's claims that Putin knows something about the payments, the Russian president has previously said he was unaware of any business ties between Hunter, Biden, and Baterina. One thing Trump failed to mention, according to reports, Trump himself was seeking out business with the former mayor of Moscow back in the late 1990s. He had pageants, he had a pageant there very involved with Russia. But at this point, Ambassador Bill Taylor, since you were there uh, during this first um, debacle where the president wanted to get dirt on the political rival from President Zelensky, your thoughts on what you just heard from the former president of the United States? Well, Mika, um, we know uh, that in the summer of uh, 2019, um, there was discussion of additional weapons uh, for Ukraine. Um, we know uh, that uh, the United States had been providing these Javelin missiles. Uh, the Trump administration, uh, to its credit, had been providing these Javelin missiles that were very effective, as we know, as we're now seeing how effective these Javelins are. And there was, uh, there was interest on the, the Ukrainians. I was there at the time. Uh, we're very interested in additional weapons, additional javelins. Uh, and there was a phone call where they had this conversation with President Trump. Uh, President Zelensky asked for uh, support for this sale, uh, for additional. And uh, as we know, uh, President Trump asked for a favor um, on this same topic of investigations uh, in, into his political rival. Um, in the end, uh, those weapons went, thank goodness. They were held up for a period of time, which was troubling for the Ukrainians. Uh, but in the end, these weapons uh, went, and they, as we see, are now putting to great use against the Russians. So, Jonathan Lemire, Mika just said it. Vladimir Putin has already addressed this unsubstantiated claim about this payment. He did it in October 2020 on the eve of the presidential election. In fact, if you look at the interview, he effectively rolled about this. He waved it away. And now it's it's worth stopping and, and taking stock in the middle of what we're watching in Russia. Not only did Donald Trump watch the horrors of what we're seeing in Ukraine and say, quote, this is genius and say this is wonderful. But now he's taking the side of Vladimir Putin and saying, let's exploit the way Vladimir Putin feels about the United States right now and get him to give me 
this invented dirt that came out of a report authored by Ron Johnson of Wisconsin. Uh, you know, we're not shocked anymore by Donald Trump, but the things he said during this war, I think, rise to that level. Yeah, it is hard to be shocked by him, but this is so galling. It's just so galling. Not only are there echoes of that 2016 moment where he openly asked Russia for help, and we know, thanks to the Mueller report, it was that night that the GRU started dump accessing some of those hacked WikiLeaks, the Clinton emails that they were seemed like they were responding to what Trump asked. Echoes, of course, as Ambassador Taylor just said, of two and a half years ago uh, and his efforts to get dirt on the Bidens by extortion uh, of Ukrainian President Zelensky, and to now do so during a war where Vladimir Putin is committing war crimes. The United States has yep. deemed that Putin and the Russian soldiers have committed war crimes, and yet Trump is asking him for help. It is truly staggering. And Admiral Stavridis, just want to get your, your taking a step back here, just your sense of how damaging this all is in terms of where it's Trump and some other voices on the right, including in the conservative media, uh, who still seem sort of sympathetic uh, to the Russian cause, where we know those video clips are being circulated on state TV in Russia. Uh, just how does this undermine what the war effort here to hear someone? This is the former president of the United States openly asking Vladimir Putin for help. Yeah, it, it, it's the wrong message at the wrong time. And in particular, I'm struck by President Trump saying that uh, President Putin is a genius. If he's a genius, why is his invasion failing so publicly, so broadly? Why did he so completely overestimate the capabilities of his generals? Why is he mortgaging the future of his nation by cracking its economy? Why is he turning to other authoritarian nations around the world uh, to continue to trade with Russia? None of that's going to work. It's going to diminish his nation. Um, he is anything but a genius. And for uh, senior U.S. political figures to call him a genius is uh, shocking in the extreme. And he's also, as you say, Jonathan, a moral failure. He's someone who has committed war crimes uh, throughout his career, if you will, but Syria to what is going on now, all you need to do is look at a photograph of Mariupol. You know everything you need to know about Vladimir Putin. He is not a genius. He's as far from it as I can imagine a human being being. Hey, thanks so much for watching our YouTube channel. You can follow up on today's top stories and breaking news or catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.